guys and ghouls. So I think I may look a little bit insane right now. Um, I'm still in my pyjamas and yes, it is 3.56 in the afternoon. Um, but I basically was editing a video today and there's been something that's been on my mind for a little bit. Something which has just been like niggling away. And that is because I went to a salon with my friend Evie. I think you guys have met her, seen her um, before. And I was moaning about these states like of eyebrows that I have because I have to like fill them in. Um, I usually fill them in with like a ready colour because of my hair. Um, and because I'm naturally blonde, basically, if I don't fill them in, it just doesn't look like I have any eyebrows on. <laughs> so she was like, oh, you should try tinting them because then, like, all the colours will show up. So that's been, like, niggling at my brain. And I've been looking at getting them, like, professionally tinted. But also I'm just horrendous at letting other people do things for me. Like, I hate having my hair done by other people. And turns out I'm the same with eyebrow hair. So basically... That is a good look. So basically, today I'm gonna go to Boots and see if there is any eyebrow tint that I can buy to tint my own eyebrows. I will get before and after shot, but this is basically me trying out um, brown eyeshadow in my eyebrows. I literally just went over where like the hair is because um, my eyebrows are very overly plucked and this side is like insane. Maybe I can get better light over by my Vivarium. This side, this side is insane and like untamable and this side there's hardly whereas on this side there's hardly any hair so I've just gone over like <laughs> where the hair is to see if I would look weird with eyebrows when I don't have makeup which I feel like I do but it may be because I'm not used to it or maybe because I just literally drew them on with eyeshadow <laughs> um but I put brown eyeshadow in I don't usually put brown eyeshadow in I usually put a ready colour so basically if they have brown tint I'll get that if they have a more ginger or like a light brown tint I'll definitely get that if they have black I'm not getting it because I will look insane um so I'm gonna get dressed now I say get dressed I probably look exactly the same when you next see me um and we're gonna go down to boots and I'm gonna see what they have and if they have eyebrow tint then you will be watching this video and if they don't then no one will ever know I filmed this intro. Okay, so I'm dressed, as you can see. Um, I thought I'd come here, because it's natural light, to see if I still look insane. I think so. Am I making the right decision here? I don't know. Cool, so I'm just on my way now. <sighs> At least it's still sunny, I guess. Um, Got loads, I've got like three children with me today, so just need to sort them out. <sighs> then I can finally go to Boots. Well, just come back from Boots um, and they had hidden it at like the back of a shelf um, and they only had black and dark brown so I've got dark brown so we will see. So it's <laughs> now like 7 o'clock at night. Um, basically I walked home and had dinner and <sighs> I'm only just kind of back but I just shimmied the instructions out um and <laughs> it says it takes about 10 minutes so what i thought i'd do i have made half of my bed <laughs> um so what i thought i'd do is i did a a post on instagram Ugh, let me move my chair i did a post on i did a post on instagram I think it was about two, three months ago when the assumptions tag was like a thing. <laughs> um, and I realized, well, I think m like most of the assumptions I got were you're a pumpkin in disguise. And I was like, yep, that's true. Um, but I realized I never actually like addressed the assumptions 
there was like five or six which were like legitimate ones so I figured while I dye my eyebrows since it takes 10 minutes for them to dye I would do that so that's why I thought I've got my camera here on my very professional setup of a chair and a tripod because my tripod's just slightly too short um so I thought I'd do that but exciting news I do actually have some new lighting um so I'm gonna see if I can set this up as well um basically I used to use my dragon's vivarium as like my lighting source but unfortunately well not unfortunately because it really needed a new like a update but I got a new one but it means the lights are like more professional and like tucked away so more light gets to my dragon rather than like, comes out which is good for him obviously but a bit annoying because I don't know if you guys have noticed but my videos the lighting has been just really weird um so I'm still trying to sort that out so I'm hoping that this doodat may solve some of my issues <laughs> I've set up, so I've set up my new lighting thing which I'm actually really pleased with although it's a very ratchet setup but it works so hopefully I mean it's a little bit dark on this side so I'm just gonna see if I can turn on another light behind the scenes of every single time I ever try to film I spend like 45 minutes trying to even get that looks okay I'm really pleased with that cool so <sighs> Let's dye my eyebrows. I'm gonna be using this mirror. I got this from TK Maxx um, last Halloween. I did modify it slightly because it used to have um, pink roses, but I've swapped them out. I swapped them, I painted them um, red. And I love this so much. I didn't know how much I'd use it at first, um, but I just, like, I really thought it was so pretty and I couldn't turn it down. The only thing is, like, the backing is a little bit, like, do you mind? The backing is a little bit, um, peely on the back uh but yeah I use it literally every day it's so so good it's quite heavy like I usually just hold it like that and like do my makeup um I would like a little handheld one but I'm not I haven't really come across one I like but I'm gonna be using this so this is how um my eyebrows look kind of at the end of a day I mean do bear in mind that I didn't put this on like first thing in the morning I put this on what was it around three o'clock um and as you can see it's like pretty much gone but this is the kind of i'm gonna aim to like look like if that makes sense one reason why i wanted to do this sorry just taking out a makeup wipe one reason why i wanted to do this is because i have very small eyeballs and when i was younger i used to always pluck out my eyebrows because where they were blonde like as you can see from this one it like frays all over the place where they were blonde i used to like hate the fact that you couldn't really see them so i used to just like pluck them all out like with this one with no makeup you can just see like a bit here and then like it just disappears so i used to completely pluck them out not to like draw them over just so i look like an alien um but i kind of ruined them a little bit by plucking them so i don't really know what state they're in now um but i hate that they're like odd colors i hate that they're like odd shapes um and yeah i i do have to like fill them in when i want to but on a normal day when i'm not wearing makeup like like this i feel like just look really weird because i have like no eyebrow on one side and like a bit of an eyebrow on the other side um and i just can't be bothered to like fill them in every single day so I'm gonna try this out and see what happens maybe maybe it will work maybe it will reveal that I have very very patchy eyebrows I literally have no idea um, but no harm in trying hey so let's get a close-up of my current eyebrow situation this is this side so there is like a relatively like a lot of hair in there it is just like see-through blonde um, this one is darker, I think it's because it's covered by my fringe. As you can see, the growth is like rel relatively sporadic. Um, so yeah, I kind of hate my eyebrows, not gonna lie, which is why I fill them in. Like, I don't know why these bits shoot upwards and these ones go sideways. They're just a bit of a state. They've always, always been a state. So why not see if we can make them even more a state? So the one that I bought is by iLure Cosmetics. Um, I did some research and this seems to be like the best like high street option um, that you can get. iLure do make um, loads of eyelashes here in England and I believe that my spiderweb eyelashes are actually from them as well, like from their Halloween range. So yeah, 
Um, the reviews were relatively mixed. Some of them said that it worked really nicely. Some of them said there's a new formula that's not as good. The main thing they said was stay away from putting this on your eyelashes. They do have an eyelash version as well, which is apparently horrendous. So I'm, I'm going to stay away from my eyelashes, although I would love my eyelashes tinted. Sometimes I feel like I look a tiny bit albino um, just because my eyelashes are kind of blonde and my eyebrows are. Um, but apparently this is a permanent tint for brows to give a dark glossy colour for up to six weeks. So uh, we'll see. I don't know if you can remove this anyway. Um, but yeah, people said that it was okay if you follow the instructions. So I got it in dark brown. So I've never dyed my eyebrows before. I've been dyeing my hair for years and years and years. As you guys may have seen, I've recently dyed it with henna and I'm still really pleased with the results. Although I realised that I missed quite a lot over here, which makes me look, there's like this one patch, like I think it's here where it's like so blonde I look bald and it like really frustrates me. Because when I see it in pictures I'm like, oh, I'm not bald, I promise. Um, so yeah, oh, okay. This is interesting. You get a few different things in here. I'm not sure what that circle in the middle is for, so I'm hoping I've, oh, I guess that's what you put the dye in. Sorry, there's a little brush in here too. Okay, so it comes with a little brush, a little kind of mixy stick, and then two bottles. So there is cream colour that says dark brown, and then this is a activator, um, and then it has a little brush. So usually I don't read the instructions. When it comes to hair dye, I just do whatever I want. I just kind of guess, and it usually comes out okay. Um, but I, for some reason I'm a bit worried because they're my eyebrows. <laughs> um, so... Um, what I think I'm going to do is get a before shot of my eyebrows and then I can compare it afterwards if that makes sense. I do also have this like weird mark in my eyebrow here, this like white circle that has just been there forever. Um, just so you know, fun facts about my eyebrows. Luckily as well, my hair is like definitely in need of a wash and my fringe is like staying out the way. <laughs> okay, so let's read the instructions. Um, once I put this on, I'll do the um, assumption-y thing, but at the moment I'm going to focus more on these ridiculously long instructions. <sighs> okay, so. Per permanent dye, designed for eyebrows, giving them a dark, even finish. Um, mix, oh no, I'm not going to do a sensitivity test. Nah, that's not happening. Right. Cleanse your eyebrows with non-oily cleanser to remove makeup and natural oils. Dry thoroughly. Prepare one eye at a time. Carefully spread barrier cream like petroleum jelly over the skin around the eyelids to avoid getting on the hair. To avoid getting on the hairs to be tinted. Prepare one eye. Carefully spread a barrier cream like, like Vaseline basically over the skin and around the eyelids. But avoid getting on the hairs. Right. Um, I've got lip balm. <laughs> Pretty sure this isn't what they mean, but I have some like Halloween lip balm. I'm sure this will be fine. Mm, and it does smell nice as well. Okay, now what do I need to do? Prepare one a poor cream colour dye tube nozzle. Open with a sharp end. Squeeze approximately two centimeters of dye color into a mixing dish. And replace the lid. Basically, I need to apply it using this thingy. Ooh, cute. Um, I need to apply it using this thingy, um, and just do a little bit at a time. I'm gonna place old top down just in case it gets on the top. I don't want it to go on my bed. It says to wipe it off if it goes on your skin, like at all. So that's gonna be fun. Um, I'm not going to hold this up just because it's going to be too complicated. Um, but basically, I need to apply two centimetres of this. <laughs> I literally don't understand. It's literally come out like a little solid bit of chocolate. Sure, I'm sure that's two centimetres. Um, and then open away from face. Done that. I feel like I'm doing some kind of magic spell here. It's very runny see-through liquid and a little brown liquid. So it's kind of gone into like a, a thick mixture. Um, does it say what, 
let's see what it says. Open a five drops into the dish and using Apco mix well to a creamy consistency that does not drip. Let's see. Ooh, lovely. Good, we've done something right. Turns out I'm going to need to get a wet cloth. I'm going to just do that when I've got my turn. I'm not going to keep my eyes closed, I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, so just covered this little brush in our weird brown substance. I'm actually gonna not look in my camera to do this. I'm gonna do it looking over here. Let's see. My eyebrow hairs are a lot longer than I thought they were. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get more of this like weird substance because it I pretty much used the whole lot just on that one eyebrow, so that's good. Right, let's try the other eyebrow. Turns out my eyebrow hairs are like really long. Like an old owl kind of length. Not really sure if this is the technique you're meant to go for, but I'm just like rolling it. <laughs> on the thing, like around the thing. What I'm gonna do at this point, what I'm gonna do at this point is set up a timer. Probably should have done that before. Just gonna do a stopwatch, um, cause it says leave these on, like the normal time's about 10 minutes, but leave them on longer for like them to be darker brown and like less for lighter brown. So I'm just gonna like basically mess around for a while until I feel like it's enough. Although the colour of the paste does <laughs> somewhat match my uh, match my actual uh, hair colour right now. Like surely I might as well use up all the all the leftover bits. And while I leave that to do what it's doing, um, I'm just gonna take a cute little selfie. Okay, let's address some of your guys' misconceptions. So, if I can find my post, because it was all the way back in, all the way back in February. So, um, the assumptions are, so most with the ghost said, you have a very easy time making friends. Um, yes and no uh, when i am in a situation like i'm new to like university or new to college or something i will make friends on the first day like i know i need to make friends on the first day but after i have made those initial friends i am then very slow to make more friends like i'm like i have my set friends now and that, that will do however internet friends i find a lot easier like i have made so many friends through youtube and i find them just a lot easier to keep up with and i just guess there's less things to kind of go wrong omira's wrath says that you are really quiet in person definitely true i'm super super quiet when you first meet me if it's someone it's really weird if it's like if i'm going for example to like mike's work do i will be really quiet because i literally hardly know anyone and i'd rather just like be quiet and listen to people i'm very much the kind of person that will like sit back and listen for for a good kind of like few hours before i start paying my input in i have a very odd sense of humor and i feel like i have to kind of adjust to the people i'm with um so i kind of have to assess like what sort of things are being said the kind of language that's being used um and then kind of adapt my personality to that and then kind of work out which parts of my personality will fit in with that group i think that statement is definitely true for like the beginning part of knowing me but like once you know me i don't shut up underwood 7777 says you don't see your friend susan enough alex i literally saw you the other day so shut up um <laughs> raven Raven Windsor says you love chocolate. That is so true. I absolutely love, love, love chocolate. Although I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier at the moment, but I feel like chocolate is like a necessity to everyone's diet. Um, Jawline Jewelry said you have ten fingers but only nine toes. How did you know? <laughs> no, I have all my fingers and toes, unfortunately, or fortunately. <laughs> Euphoric Ocean. 
got there in the end. It says you love wearing makeup, but it's a pain in the ass to put on. That is so true. I love, love, love wearing makeup. When I wear makeup, I feel great, but the whole putting it on is just like so much effort. And also like in the mornings when I wake up to go to like work or to uni, I sometimes just cannot be bothered because my makeup does take like half an hour to put on. Hence why I'm trying this out because it will like save me like a little bit of time because in the morning where I wear no makeup I hate looking at my eyebrows I think my eyebrows are the only thing which I'm like slightly subconscious of like when it comes to like not wearing makeup so who knows this may have solved my issues um Trico Tat said you choose Halloween over anyone or anything Lauren you are correct <laughs> full stop <laughs> nothing else needs to be said there um Chaka Tansky says you're drunk no, but if anyone walked in on me right now, they probably think I would be. Um, C.C. Ralts Caltro, Caltro says, you prefer reading to watching films? It really depends what part of my life I'm in. I'm such like a phase person. Like I will be like, go through phases of not putting books down. Like I would just want to read and read and read and read. Um, and then I'm not too interested in programs or it'll be like the other way around. Um, I only really watch films in the cinema um other than that i do have netflix but i use it more for watching tv series however i am like a massive like one of those idiots that are like oh the book is better than the film kind of one of those i know it's frustrating um but sometimes i do believe that the books are better than the film so i'd say your assumption is somewhat correct depending on the day <laughs> um uh elvin scarlet said you live with your parents true that <laughs> otherwise I would have a better filming background I'm super super looking forward to moving out because it will just mean I have like a bit more space and a bit more control like if you could see my lighting setup right now it is like shoved like on the side of my desk with like a reflector kind of shoved down by my pumpkin patch it's a bit of a state and I'm filming on my bed like I had to quickly make my bed very quickly just so I could sit down and film so I'm looking forward to having like a studio or even like an area where I can just just be okay let me check the timer before i carry on okay so it has been eight minutes and nine minutes now since i put this on and i started this late it's it feels very cold it's a very odd sensation i almost have like not a headache but it just feels very chilly it doesn't sting or anything i know it told me to keep my eyes shut so um hopefully it, it still works um but yeah i'm gonna go wash this off now um but this is how how it looks so yeah we'll see i'm gonna go i think i'm just gonna go wash it off off camera just because i feel like it's gonna be well complicated i just feel like it's gonna be very very complicated for me to try and sort out um so yeah i'm gonna go wash this off it just says to use a cloth and warm water so i will be back very shortly with the results so i'm so i'm not gonna lie to you i was not expecting them to look <laughs> this good <laughs> They're not really that amazing, but for someone who doesn't normally have eyebrows, <gasps> I now have eyebrows. <laughs> um, they definitely like look patchy, but I think that is because of my general lack of hair. But I'm definitely gonna give them a bit of a shape now, pluck a few like of these strays out. Um, but I'm really like happy with the kind of color of them. <laughs> if anything, it really accentuates how high this one is like is this one okay they definitely need shaping um but i'm really happy with the color of them they're not too dark and they don't look too unnatural i think i'm just like more happy that like there is a darker line here i know it probably doesn't look that dramatic to someone like to you guys um but when i looked in the mirror i was like wow i have eyebrows now and there's definitely like a lot more hair in there than um i was expecting to see so yeah i'm gonna give them like a bit of a I was just checking but like no that's my actual hair that's that color um so i'm gonna give them a bit of a shape now see what i can do and then i will show you the finished look kind of very sad i feel like this is a very subtle um change but I i'm liking it um there is also still a shed ton um of stuff in here so i'm gonna be able to get loads more applications i'm just gonna save this little thing i'm gonna go like wash it out in a minute um so i can reuse it but like for seven pound fifty and i'm sure these will be on offer at some point um so far i'm really pleased with it. it'd be interesting to see how long they last but like i've been scrubbing it loads i literally spent ages scrubbing this um to see if i could get it off um like as in like not because i want it off but like to see if it would come off and i as you see i just tried with this and like nothing's coming off on there so they seem to be 
dyed. I think if anything, they would probably leave them longer. Um, definitely if you have uneven eyebrows, like mine were already like darker on this side and like dark in this area. Um, it does kind of not accentuate it, but like continue on with the theme. Like it doesn't really even it as such but I think like if I did another application at some point it maybe it would um but I think for now I'm I'm, I'm not gonna push it right so I'm gonna go so right I'm gonna um, I think I have some tweezers around here somewhere I'm just going to sit and watch Ashling's um spooky books club while I tweezer my eyebrows I know I should probably go get them waxed or threaded at this point but as you guys can probably see I do everything by myself um and twit and plucking is you know all i know really and i'm happy with it so don't judge me okay so try um try to give it some time to like settle a bit um but i've just kind of done a little bit of a pluck here and there so this is how they look i know they're not like completely even like here doesn't look too dark like when i'm looking in my thing um but like compared to how they looked before i am really pleased with it um i feel like this one isn't quite so crazy but i still kind of look like an evil genius on this side um but i like find it crazy that this is how they now look without makeup so i'm really pleased with that um definitely like from here i can still see them which is great <sighs> so yeah definitely a success i would say that this definitely works for a natural look it's not like really really crazy different but like to me I can see a difference and I'm really hoping that it will last um, and I'll definitely try this again maybe next time I leave it on for 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes to see but ultimately I do love the fact that it does still look natural and it kind of looks like I naturally have brown eyebrows um, it'd be interesting to see if this bit like will ever fill out although I just don't feel like it ever will I feel like I'm always destined to have lighter bits here but I guess if I was doing like my makeup for example I would just like fill in that but other than that I am pleased with how they look to give you a bit of a close-up this is how they look now um I am by no like means an eyebrow profesh um but this is kind of how they probably would look once I'd put mas uh, mascara, what am I talking about? Once I put eyeshadow in them. Um, so yeah, I'm like really pleased with how they turned out. You can definitely see that I have eyebrows now, so that's something. Um, and yeah, pleased with that. Um, I would like to maybe one day get these done professionally but it seems a bit crazy now that I know how much hair I actually have to go get them professionally tinted because there's like not really much there for them to work with um, so yeah probably just carry on with that if anything I feel like it matches my hair slightly nicer as well so that is always a plus um, I really need to wash my hair I like 100% apologise for that thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if you tint your eyebrows or have any tips for me in the future to do with anything to do with the eyebrows because i know nothing please leave it down in the comments below so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye